Okay, okay, guys. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Uh, Love Tofu. You guys may know me for recording Brave Frontier footage. Now, this video is going to teach you how you can record these footage yourself. Now, how do you record <clears throat> Brave Frontier on your PC? And that is an easy question. All you need is two programs. First one you see here is called iTunes. Now, the second one is this. This is called OBS. Now, I'm recording the monitor itself, so it's going to have a little <clears throat> it's going to have one of those uh, matrix effect on it. But yeah, so this is what I use for recording the actual footage. Okay, and I'll go ahead and um, I'll put the links in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go through what you need to do. All right. I'll take take um, take you guys through this step by step. Now, the first thing you need to do, okay, no, the first thing I need to mention is this method works the best with iPhones. Probably, this also applies to iPod. I haven't tried it on an iPod yet, but since iPod and iPhones are similar, and they usually have similar components and hardware, so I believe that this is the case. Now, iPads, unfortunately, you're going to experience some lag. It don't record as well, and it, the mirroring is not as up to par compared to the iPhone. Um, it's just a lot slower. You lose a lot of frames for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, since we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, let's go uh, <clears throat> through this now. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and open iTools. Now you don't even have to install once you download it. You're just gonna go ahead and have it. You're gonna have it in a. Um, it's gonna be extract file. You have to open it with WinWar. Open it up and then go ahead and extract it somewhere. And you're just gonna have a. You're just gonna have it right there. <clears throat> it's really convenient. No installation whatsoever. So all you need to do is just go ahead and open it. Once you open it. Then just go ahead and connect your device with your regular USB charger, the USB cable that you charge your phone with. And you want to connect that to the other end into the PC. So one end into the iPhone and the other end in the, P in the PC U USB spot. That's USB port, my bad. Oh man, I'm getting some cotton mouth pretty bad. Okay, and then once you've done that, all you need to do is go to desktop. Let me open it up and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, go to desktop. And then once you go to desktop, sorry guys, I'm getting an error. Okay, you get some errors sometimes, but this doesn't happen all the time. Just sometimes. But you know, it, it won't do this while it's running. It's just um, once you disconnect it and reconnect it, it has some issues. Okay, so we go to desktop. And then there's live desktop on the top right here. Go ahead and click that. All right, and then you'll have exactly what is displayed on your iPhone itself. See? And then once you open up Brave Frontier, you're in Brave Frontier. Look at that. Really convenient, right? Okay, now, since you got the mirroring part down, Love Tofu, how do you record this. Now the easiest way to record it is get this to full screen. Okay? Once you get it to full screen you have you see you're seeing the re resemblance. If you've seen my uh, Brave Frontier footage then you guys will know what, what I'm talking about. But okay once you get it to full screen it's pretty clean right? Um, except for this little uh, snapshot and a record feature that they have on on the program itself but we're not going to use this. I don't use this because OBS is so much better. So go ahead and open up OBS, and we're now we're gonna. Oh, okay, I need to get out of the full screen version for this. Okay, now 
now I'm going to open up the OBS version, OBS, and then <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and open up a scene, and then go to add. Uh, these are all my other, other scenes that I have, but just uh, make a scene, just add scene. I've already made one, so we'll just go ahead and use this one. This is add scene, and for this one I have a uh, monitor capture, but that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to go click on it, go to monitor capture, right? This will pop up. And then if you have multi uh, monitors, then you'll have to select one. But if you don't, then just go ahead and go with this. <clears throat> and then once you say capture, then you're going to say OK. I'm not going to do that because I already have a monitor capture running right now. Uh, so for people that's wondering my settings, uh, you guys can check out my settings. Um, so this is a setting that I have. Now, um, okay, general doesn't really matter. Um, encoding slightly matters. Now, in encoding, you're gonna want the encoder for the for this. It's gonna be x twenty six four. I think that's what it is on default. Um, you're not gonna click the CBR. You're gonna turn that off. Disable it. Uh, get the quality to ten. You want the max bitrate to be 1000 and you want the buffer to be 0 and make sure this custom buffer size is ticked. Um, and I changed the audio so it will best fit the YouTube. That will be one, um, 192 stereo. I think all these is default AAC and 48. Okay. And then this is, uh, this is also something else that you need to do. Just go ahead and go to uh, file output. Since you're going to do local, you're not going to stream. I hope not. Well, I mean, if you're streaming, that's something else. And then you definitely want to put a name. Where are you going to put the file? Where you want these these uh, footage to go to? So you want to uh, put a directory there. Um, I'm going to say no. <clears throat> now this is the video. This is the video uh, setting. So this is the frame. This is the resolution that you're gonna want for the final result and I just go ahead and put it in uh, 1280 by 720 uh, you guys can be different and you guys can go with any resolution that you want but for uploading YouTube it seems like 720p is the idle size um, you can go for 1080 but you know 1080 just takes more time it's more space and a lot of people don't actually watch stuff on 1080 because they have slower internet and even if they have fast internet, 720 is just more convenient. It just buffers a lot quicker. Okay? And you definitely don't want to go with the downscale. Downscaling is really bad. Um, the scaling is going to ruin the pixel. Resolution is going to look horrible. The image quality, the video quality is going to drop down uh, substantially. So you don't want to do this. If you want it a certain size, then just go ahead and change it in custom. Okay, guys? Like even if, like my monitor is 1920 by 1080, but even though it is a 1080p monitor, I record it like this, all right? And don't ever use the downscale, all right? Frame per second is going to be 30 because it's 30 anyway. Uh, disable arrow, I should have done this. This is highly recommended, but since I'm recording right now, I can't really do that. I should leave that on. Okay, and this is the mic setting. This ain't that important. But this is definitely important right here. Alright, you guys want everything the way I've done it. So go ahead and click this. Make sure this ticked. Um, normal, 700. Disable, not ticked. Allow other modifiers ticked. Um, okay, now for the preset. Preset very fast is good. Now anything above, ultra fast, right? So the higher up you go, it means the shittier your computer is, the shittier the CPU is, and the quality is going to be worse. But it's going to be able to render. So when you're doing this, it's actually rendering it. So it's not, it's kind of hard to explain. But uh, yeah, so you know like Adobe and Sony Vegas, you're actually rendering the image so it would come out into that resolution you know and with all the mics so it's actually making the footage for you while it's recording it at the same time 
crazy, right? Crazy how technology have uh, evolved. But um, so you want to very fast is idle. You know, I have a i7, and this works pretty fine. But if the footage, if you just recorded like a short footage, and if it doesn't look that great, then just try to go up one. And if that doesn't work, go up another one. All right. But definitely start at very fast. Very fast is the starting point. Now for profile, go ahead and put it at high. And then for this one, it says some bullshit about me putting it up two um, for something. I don't know why. But zero is good enough. It's automatic, so it will adjust on its own. Now go ahead and turn on the C, the CFR. Go ahead and turn it on, and then you're gonna tick the custom. And then custom, you're gonna put in this command. It's called CRF equal 10. Now 10 is pretty pretty good. The lower the number, the better the quality. Now for people that are in that are beginning, um, I definitely advise you to do like maybe 15 to 20, somewhere around there and then mess around with it because it's definitely going to affect the quality and it because it affects the quality the size of the video is going to vary so the, the smaller the number the quality is going to be greater but the size of the video is also going to um, going to be bigger okay it correlates and they go hand to hand quality bigger size okay Alright, so, and everything else, you don't tick them, that's pretty much it. No, and then this is the microphone gate, this ain't that important either. Alright, so that's basically it, guys. I uh, hope you guys got the gist of it. Um, and also, um, so, Love Tofu, how do, you, uh, how do you make it all nice and stuff? How do you add stuff to it? That's a good point. Now, um, I can't show it to you here. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and give you like a short demonstration of how I go about and do this. So, <clears throat> the monitor captures here. If you want images to show up on top of that image, it'll have to be above it. Um, okay, so these are a couple of the images that I'm using. I just got, I uh, just Googled it and uh, you have to look for transparent. Uh, it's also on the Google. But yeah, okay, so for instance, uh, Say for instance, I want this Leon. No, let's make it Vargas. Not actually Leon's nice. I like Leon. All right, let's make it Leon. Um, and just say okay to this. <clears throat> nice. We see Leon, right? Nice. And then go ahead and click on Ed Scene. And now you have to make sure that the image is above the monitor capture. Then it will definitely show above it. Okay, I'll show you it once I switch the order. If I move this down, you see that the image is. Basically, the image is underneath. It's underneath the monitor that you see. So it's it's hidden. That's basically what it is. It's hidden. Now let's just bring it back up again. Nice. All right, and then you can adjust the size like this. It's pretty sweet. Adjusting the size, you know. Or you can just right-click it, and there's position. Position, you can make it fit to screen. You can move it around, you can center it, you can move it to the top left. It's really nice. It's more convenient. But yeah, so that's how I go ahead and design my stuff. And then also for, um, let me remove this real quick. And then also for these little annoying little buttons that you see here. What I did is um, I just went ahead and did a screenshot. Um, hopefully you guys know how screenshots work. Um, when you do screenshot, it, it captures the image of your monitor at that moment. And then you can open a paint and just copy and paste. I mean, just paste. It's already copied. Once you press screen, print screen, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called print screen. And then what it's going to do is it's going to copy the image that's on the monitor. Once you've done that, Okay, so um, I'll, I'll just show it to you guys real quick. All right, so I clicked it right now, right? It's gonna go over here. No, okay, I'm gonna go over here and open up Paint. Okay, so I opened up Paint. Right, we're in Paint, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do copy and paste. Right? No, I'm just gonna paste it. I keep saying copy and paste. Fuck. 
Okay, and then once I've done that, look at that. Okay, this is because I have a dual monitor. Um, that's pretty crazy. I, I never knew that it did this. But yeah, it's because I have a dual monitor, so both things are showing up. I'm, I'm uploading something at the moment. Okay, so both things are showing up, but yeah. So you, you see this right here? So what I did is you go to select and just drag it. Look at that, and you get a little piece of it. You get you just get a little portion that that's going to be enough to cover this. Just get a little portion right here, and then just do Control C, and then go here and say Start New, and say Don't Save, and then Paste. Look at that. You got it. You got a little nice gray image right there, right? Go ahead and save it and use that image. Easy, right? It's really easy. And then save that image. Go to Image, and then find that image. I already have one here and say okay look at that you have a nice little gray image right here watch then cover it all the way BAM buttons are gone buttons are gone and to the naked eye you guys will never know but yeah Whew. That was a mouthful. Hopefully I covered everything, guys, and yeah, have a good time recording. Okay, so if this video really helped you guys, please give me a like and a subscription. And also share this video with anyone that wants to record, I don't know, just their iPad. I mean, this is just a great program to record stuff, so just for the OBS. I think it's uh, it's some good info, and hopefully I made this um, up to your expectation, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and have a good one. Don't forget to like.